bows. Yeah, baby. Come on. Ooh, money bag. Money bag. <laughs> Buy me another margarita. You still look ugly. Oh, look at this. True Religion shorts. Ann Taylor. This is an Ann Taylor. This is an Ann Taylor. Previously on Locker Nuts, I'm calling this one four days on the hunt because in four days of auction, this is the one and only unit that I bought. It's a nice 10 by 20 locker full of totes and it looked clean and very well organized. I paid $1,800 for it and that's a lot of money for me to spend, but I've been finding lots of quality items such as high-end clothing and sunglasses, a Yeti cooler, a KitchenAid mixer, designer handbags, high-end cosmetics, and even hundreds in cash and gift cards. I'm still trying to see if we can average $100 per tote, because if we can do that, I stand to make over 10 grand on this unit. Let's see what we find today. All right, Locker Nuts, we're back at my unit. Ah, man, see, still tons of boxes right there, tons of boxes. All right, this is all from this latest locker. All those bins right there, all from the latest locker. It's a lot to go through so we gotten through everything that i had brought home previously so all the process boxes with flea market stuff i just dropped at my other unit which is right around the corner right here now we're here to get some more stuff more good times now we're here to get some more stuff so we have more unboxing videos coming up for you guys and then i got a boogie on home because we have our big live auction tonight it's monday so very excited about that all right guys there it is not taking a huge load home today but i got 10 bins I got six boxes, right? These little file boxes. I got six of those, so 16 total containers. And I didn't even really make a big dent here, but I did make a little bit more area right here. Okay, we still have a lot of stuff, guys, but this is, I'm looking and it's like, I mostly see shoes and clothes, shoes and clothes. It's not gonna make super interesting videos. So there's a chance that I'm gonna come here one day and just blast through a bunch of them, just try to pull anything that's nicer and look in between, make sure there's nothing, you know, a little more precious hidden in between. That could definitely, definitely happen. Now back to the house, let's keep working. All right, locker of nuts, we're back in the garage. Just gonna start on some of these cardboard boxes. Man, most of the other plastic bins looks like clothes and shoes. I don't wanna spend too much time on that, but this looks a little better, because I already peaked, peaked. I didn't go through it, I just peaked. All right, we got some crafting stickers. I don't know. Tess. All right, it says Tess. Ooh, it's a letter. Let's see what they said. Hmm? Lozenges. Enclosed are the following. Thiocell lozenges. We sell this for $150 per bottle, but for close friends, this is at cost $120. What the heck? It's instantly ageless. Some kind of instant Botox. Hmm. All right. That's kind of weird to be in a... Uh, envelope like that. Brookstone scanner mouse. Whoa. Trouble in paradise here. Cord is down. The cord is down. Man. That probably looks really bad. It's actually not too bad. Hang on guys. Get this fixed in a jiffy. The power cord fell. Pull the camera down. Okay, where were we? Brookstone. All right, there we go. We got a scanner mouse. A way to scan. The easier way to scan anything. Look that up. Let's see if it's got any value. Okay, another little bag. We'll put this in like a miscellaneous box. Ooh. Jar Varvatos cologne here. All right, that's pretty decent. We'll look it up. Smells good too. It does smell good. They they really like their uh, earpiece earpieces here. This is a box for one. I found quite a few. Just empty box. Empty box. Maui Jim. All right, we did find some Maui Jim glasses. Like I think on one of the first videos. Looks pretty good. Pretty good. 
Pearl Gator. Put it with the glasses. Good thing I haven't sold any glasses yet because we're still finding that kind of stuff. Here's some Dayquil, brand new. Sealed packet with an expiration of 2015. We got some, we got some heavy duty metal pins here. It looks like American Transportation Services. We got a nice bin of pens over there. We'll add that to it. Here's a piece of metal. Look at that. It's got all these measurements on it, cutouts, different angles and stuff. This is for something. There's two of them. They're magnetic. I think this is maybe for making... Complete guess. Is, is this dovetails or for making a dovetail? I don't know. I don't know. Or is that what you call it for a woodworking dovetail, I think? Um, I'm not sure. I'll put that in the flea market box. This I'm not sure about. Oh, look at this, guys. You see right there? That's like three more sunglass boxes. That's good. That is a Jaguar. Shaguar. Shaguar. Empty. Still might find them, though. Another one. Shaguar. Air eyewear. Ooh, this one's there. Ooh, they feel nice, too. No, that says Ferragamo right there. That's Ferragamo. I think those are reading glasses, but they're not my prescription. It makes my fuzzy eyes even fuzzier. Here's another Jaguar, but... Okay, got another glasses here. Club Monaco. Hmm... Club Monaco, huh? Alright. Never heard of it. Paracord bracelets here. Those are kind of cool, but no value, but interesting. Intuit Go Payment. It's like a square. I think like a credit card reader. It's actually in there. Flash Shiner is for your nails, right? Lens Cleaner. Lens Cleaner. Whoa. All right, we got a wallet, and this is Joseph Abood. All right, so just a regular old wallet, men's warehouse, super used. It's all worn on the corner. The dude wore stuff much more than the, the ladies wore. Silicon protector case for a iPad or something. Velcro wraps. Ooh, there's a nice lighter. Ooh, actually it works. Another lighter. Cool. What are these? Oh, big cigars. That's what we got. We got some cigars right here. Cigars are addictive. Well, not really. I mean, maybe, but not for me. I have one every couple of years, and I'm like, ah, oh, next morning, I'm like, no, oh, why did I smoke that? All right, next box. Next. Come on, show me something good. Nope. Oh, and the box immediately says, nope. Glass tempered screen pro. And it's not here. They saved the stinking box. And there's a nice Android Windows tablet keyboard. Not here. Ooh. Come on, you guys. Come on. Dang. Got some little gadgets in here. Cord. Plug. Okay. Ooh. Ikea. I don't think we're making our hundred dollars on this one. What? With all the stinking boxes. Ooh, this is going to be a quick video. I'm burning through this stuff. I can just tell it's already, it's another empty box. Oh, man, that would be nice. That would be nice. And I'm not getting my hopes up because everything's been empty boxes. Not everything, but you know what I mean. Bows. Yeah, baby, come on. No. No, it's not there. All right, ooh, that's a cool one. Look at that. Gives you a whole bunch. And you can flip them to the side. So you can plug them this way, like behind the couch. So you put it that way, you can't push this couch back, so you flip them this way. Do whatever you want. That's that's pretty nice. I like that. Ooh, what's this? Fire stick. Stick in the empty box again, though. It's too light. It's too light. This is like a clickbait bonanza, this whole locker. They got such nice boxes and stuff, and they're mostly empty. There's a few, We have found good stuff, but we found a lot of empty stuff. There's some dental kits. They got a big box over there of all the hotel stuff. 
We'll, we'll probably donate it or we'll sell it as a big, huge lot. Metformin hydrochloride. What that's for? More. 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 Why do they need so much? More. More. Hmm. More mouse. Oh. Oh, there's the Amazon uh, remote for the little fire stick or whatever. What do we got here? There's the Amazon. All right. I threw the box away. <laughs> get, that, get that box back out. Get back in business. Oh, we finally found our first, like, electronic with the box. All right. I really thought these were going to be better, these boxes. Not yet. Not yet. I'm not within receipts here. I think that's what the lid just said too. Receipts. A lot of lottery tickets. Nope. Junk. That is an empty box. This guys are killing me. These empty boxes. That's what the garbage can's for. Not your storage locker. Bunch of receipts and envelopes. 1099 envelopes actually. All right, more receipts. Uh, blank receipts is what I'm saying. Blank receipts. Here's some multi-use labels. It's 3D glasses. I'm not sure what that's for. It's for cords or something. Ooh, money bag. Money bag. Hang on. Stop the presses. Could this? It doesn't feel like it's the right size as money, but there's a lot of stuff in here. But you know what? We're gonna find out. Oh, nope. Dang. Nope, 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 nope. Why do they have all this, though? These were all, these were all $100 gift certificates. Gift checks. American Express gift checks. I don't know what these are for. Deposit tickets. All right. It's almost like they had a business, but... Money bag. You know what? I could use another money bag. Not that I have all this money laying around and stuff, but I just like those money bags. They're very, they're very useful. These boxes have been terrible. Well, you know what? Good thing I didn't, I just thought about this, guys. I didn't, I didn't even, I'm not counting the cardboard boxes in my tallies so when I'm like, oh, I need to make $100 a box. I'm not including the cardboard boxes. So actually, I feel that pressure, that $100 pressure just being released. But I was hoping to find some good stuff in here. All right. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Now I remember this one. Yeah, okay. Hang on a sec now. Yeah, okay. Old Navy, right? We saw this box before. Yes, we did. Old Navy. This right here. True Religion. This used to be size 40. These are the dad's jeans right here. Um, that used to be like 70, 80 bucks right there. Oh, look at this. True Religion shorts. Nice. Size 40. Ooh, okay. <laughs> we only peeked in this and I saw the jeans. Now we got some shorts too. Lacoste, that's good. Really good. There's a nice Lacoste polo. This is Russell Athletic, I think. It's just a AB Syx. That's the, I guess maybe that's where the husband worked. I thought that's where the wife worked. Maybe he worked there. I think it's biotech. There's True Religion right here. True Religion. The true religion. He liked that stuff. Calvin Klein. Polo Ralph Lauren. Not bad. Another Lacoste. Calvin Klein. Express. Calvin Klein. Mossimo. Calvin Klein. Penguin. That's like the shoes that we found. We found some penguin shoes. Yeah, that's good. And another Calvin Klein. Dude liked his Calvin Kleins. That ain't bad. I didn't notice the time, so I almost missed uh, the, the cutoff for the post office i'm gonna run by the post office so taking a little break from unboxing to go run some quick errands post office and then fedex Let's see what else we got. Ooh, this is good right here. 
good start. I was going to say, you know, the clothes are going to have a lot harder time making our money. But check this out. This is Olympics. Nike. Small. Petite. I think this is children's size. Uh, but, yeah, that's pretty nice. Look at that. USA. Yeah. Pretty nice. Good, good, good. Uh, ooh. Look at these Under Armour shoes. They're brand new. There's not a mark on these six six and a half youth youth sizes under armor. Those are <laughs> dang, that's nice. Okay. Good start. Alright. Ooh, Nike with tags. No price. But brand new. Kid size Nike. Dang. This is probably uh, school uniforms right here. <laughs> I know that because our girls also go to private school. And they have they had uniforms. Uh, Paul Frank, that's funny, huh? It's good too. This stuff looks a little bit more worn, like it's been washed a lot more times, a little bit more worn out. Disney, High School Musical, it's funny. It's a Ralph Lauren sweater, for kids, pretty nice. Amber Crombie and Fitch, brand new attacks. Gap Kids, okay, it's not bad. It's definitely sellable. Old Navy, okay, a lot of Old Navy stuff. Got flies everywhere today. It's super hot out. I was eating a quick dinner. I don't know. The flies must like it. It's chicken. It has some chicken. Flies are going nuts for it. It's kind of annoying. All right. Next box. Next box. What's that logo? Hollister. Hollister sweatshirt. Oh, this is nice. That's, it's really soft. Medium. That's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty dope. Pretty dope. Nike shorts. Some nice basketball shorts. A bra. No, this is something else. Huh? Skinny girl. That's actually the first thing that I found like that. It's like a, a compression thing. You know? Shaper or whatever you call them. It's another bra. It's a bra. Ooh. Daniel Rain. Brand new with tags. $22.97. Cool. Alright. Little we'll blouse. Got a big old stack of new clothes over there. It's starting to get quite sizable. This is what a some kind of a jumper or something. Jumper, jumpsuit, jump, jumpsuit. I don't know. All right, how's this, you guys? I know this is probably going to get really boring. I know some of you like to wash the clothes and stuff, but I think it's going to get boring. I think I'm going to go through this and uh, pull out the new stuff. I'll pull out stuff that looks really exciting, and I'll give you a, a summary update in just a sec. All right. I got a little bit. I put aside. I put a few things in the donation pile that were just. I'm not gonna sell. I got a lot over here to sell. This I put aside. INC. INC um, it used to be a really good brand. I mean, decent quality and all. I don't really know. You know, a lot of these brands they sell out and start mass producing and going to Target or Costco or whatever. I don't know about this brand. I think it's still pretty quality. This is a nice jacket. It's like a microfiber. Very nice jacket. This stack right here. Uh, this is all Ann Taylor. Look at this. Really nice tops. Size large. Ann Taylor. What is this? Silk? I'm not sure. It's super nice. That's a very nice piece. And we have quite a bit. They liked Ann Taylor. Ann Taylor. This is an Ann Taylor. This is an Ann Taylor. Looks like it's all large. It's some mom stuff. Ann Taylor. And this one is LP. I don't know what that means. Ladies Petite, maybe? I'm not sure. It's another Ann Taylor, all right? So we have some really nice Ann Taylor stuff. That's a score. Then this pile here is all tagged, but it's not necessarily super high-end. This is Babo. It's from Nordstrom Rack. I think that's how you pronounce it. $58 marked down to $25. This doesn't have a price, but it's brand new, and I don't think this brand's super high-end. Pelion? Pelion? It's like the, she wore the nicer pieces. This is 50 bucks right here, though. Banana Republic, brand new, 50 bucks. Size large, still got the sticker on the size there. This is a large, Forever 21. It's not, you know, it's nothing special, but $17 brand new with tags. Uh, this is H&M, brand new with tags, 30 bucks. And here's another Forever 21, 15 bucks. Not a big deal, but brand new with tags, 
So it's always good when you can find new at tag. So we got a little bit of money right here. Okay, next one, women's shoes. Um, so it was the last box, a hundred dollar box. Yeah, I think that was a hundred dollar box. That has a hundred dollars in clothes for sure. Sarto, Sarto, on sales, forty three bucks. Those are brand new. Steve Madden, Jewel, Bagley, Mishka. Uh, this is kind of funny, but they put their shoes in shower caps. It's so funny. There's another Ivanka Trump. Man, this looks just like the other pair. Probably bought two. Steve Madden. These are nice. Look at this. It's called Born. B-O-R-N. Wow, look at that. It's cool. Size 6. And if you guys are curious, most of these shoes, most are size 6. Report. Here's some Michael Kors right here. A little bit fancier, huh? Michael Kors. That's the box I just did. Never mind. <laughs> Get a lot of stuff in this garage. It's getting a little confusing. Check this out. More Converse. Oh, what's this? Yeah, there's more Converses right here. Oh, these are cool. Six and a half. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Those are really nice. Converses. A couple more. These are a little worn. A little battle worn, right? This, <laughs> again, though, hardly anywhere on the bottoms. Steve Madden. Those are actually kind of cool. Aerosols, aerosols, Vince Camudo. It's nice. If you wear a size six and you like this style, this chunky heel style, this is a bound, a bound. Uh, man, we, we've got a treasure trove for you here. Really, really, really. So this is Sam Edelman here, I know that brand there, Sam Edelman. Okay, those are pretty cool. Clothes. Let's see if we got anything good. Oh, okay. Here's a Banana Republic. $49.50 blouse right here. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. That's good. We'll never get 50 bucks out of it, but it's still good. There's Ann Taylor $60 right here. Brand new with tags. 60 bucks. That's awesome. Gap. It's good. And I say good, not great, right? It's just good. Philosophy. That's, I think... I think that's pretty decent. I think philosophy's got some value. <laughs> Buy me another margarita. You still look ugly. <laughs> that's, that's terribly mean, but it's so funny. All right, what is this? This is, uh, it's only funny because a girl would wear it. Not, this, you know, if a guy wore that, I don't think that would be very funny. Um, was that Tahari? Tahari? Dress? It's pretty cool. Feels like some money. Philosophy, another philosophy top. I think that's pretty expensive. I'm not sure. Amber Crombie and Fitch. Little tank top by Hollister, brand new with tags. It's got the price, 1950. It's another Ann Taylor right here. Amber Crombie and Fitch. Amber Crombie and Fitch. Another Ann Taylor blouse. Nice. None of the Ann Taylor stuff has tags on it, probably because I was one of their favorite uh, designers, and they seem to always wear it. Here's another Ann Taylor blouse right here. Woo another Ann Taylor blouse right here. Brand new tags. I don't know what this is. Some sort of blouse. 1950. Ann Taylor. Ann Taylor. Another brand new tags right here. Abound. It's ten bucks. All right, a couple good things in there. Is this another hundred dollar box? Probably the good Ann Taylor, a couple brand new pieces, and uh, lots of uh, you know decent clothes here. I think so. <laughs> this is too much. These handles, man, they just all fall off so easy. Okay, slippers, we'll donate. Okay. What are these guys? Okay, we got some Nikes. I saw someone put a comment on the channel saying we got some Yeezys. I know there's all this talk about Yeezys and other YouTubers saying they they just learned about Yeezys. I, never, I wasn't really ever paying any attention to it. So I don't even know what that means or what those are. These are size 7 youth. 
Uh, are these the Yeezys? Are these worth something? I don't know. They definitely look a little different. This New Balance, these are decent shoes as far as being very comfortable and good for your feet. I know that much. Ooh, these are nice. Look at this. Converse high tops. They're suede leather. And look at the inside. They got like a fuzzy inside. Man, I wish these were bigger. My daughter Grace would totally wear that. Those are kind of cool. Aerosols. Those are size 8. Neat. And there we have some Uggs. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? Dang. They got a tear in them. <laughs> That's a bummer. The other pair we found was almost perfect. This one's got a tear in it right there. And that's too bad. It's the only thing really wrong with them. Not a lot of wear there. Not a lot of wear there. Bottoms have a little dirt on them, but not that much. Hmm, that one tear. It must have cut it on something. Oh, well. Someone will buy them because they're still good to wear. And then you don't have to worry about messing up your shoes. All right. Right out the gate, brand new again. 70, well, okay, 70 bucks marked down the 21. This is banana. Republic pants. Those are actually really nice, too. You just feel it. Banana Republic's got decent quality. Okay. Went through that. Here's what we got. We got this jacket right here. I don't know. It says Kenzie jeans. Just kind of cool. Nice jacket. Denim. White denim jacket. Uh, I just wanted to show you because that was just a little bit nicer piece, I think. Here's another Ann Taylor. I'm kind of making a nice stack of Ann Taylor over here. I know Ann Taylor's a little bit more expensive. Then this stack right here is brand new with tags. We have Loft, $45 right here. <laughs> I like that. Here's two more tag pieces, but no price tags. Uh, just the garment tag. And you see that? It's kind of cool. It is called Glam Vintage Soul. All right, I'm sure it wasn't cheap. I'm sure that wasn't cheap. All right, and it's got those tags on it. Probably bought in a boutique or something. What's kind of cool, too, is that there's not one, but two pieces, just different colors, same top. Old Navy, big deal. But it's 30 bucks. A pair of pants. Or they're probably like quarter, quarter long pants, whatever you call them. I don't know what you call them. This is what they are. And then here's Nordstrom Rack, Soprano. No, they're not a very big deal, but it's a $15 piece. Brand new with tags. Izod, right there, Izod. And you got this top right here. Uh, definitely cold weather type stuff. It's nice. Okay, next box. And more clothes, so let's go through it. Let me go through it, I'll update you in a sec. All right, the most interesting pieces. I pulled out the Ann Taylors, of course. I've been making a pile right here. Got that light gray sweater. Here's a black and white striped uh, blouse, long sleeve blouse, I think. Here is a Ann Taylor, a little sweater, something or other. Another sweater right here, Ann Taylor. Um, another blouse. A lot of stuff, guys. Here's a turtleneck sweater, Ann Taylor. Got a big stack of Ann Taylor right there. Then we've got this right here, Michael Kors. Michael Kors top. Feels like it's silk, but maybe it's, I don't know. Maybe it's something else, but very, very nice. Nice quality. I'm going to put that with the Ann Taylor because I think it's probably comparable quality over here we just got some t-shirts haven't found very many just straight up t-shirts here's one direction i know the girls love that uh because they went to their concerts and stuff found some stuff on that earlier this one i forget what the brand is zoe and lit or something uh just a nice little very soft t-shirt feels quality here's a modern lux all right here's a converse shirt that's cool converse Oh, actually, it's a sleeveless. It's pretty cool. All right. Then over here, we have a couple things that are interesting. This is Loft. I think Jana mentioned to me that Loft is a uh, Ann Taylor brand, like a spinoff or something. Loft, jean jacket. Um, so I had to put that aside because, uh, yeah, Loft is going to be... I, the new piece I saw over there was a pretty good price. Uh, they got a little bit higher prices. Jean jackets are good sellers, so maybe that goes on eBay. I don't know. This is another loft right here. Loft. I just put aside because I think it's got better value. And then I got a couple sweatshirts here. Divided. Divided. I think that's a decent brand, but it's a really soft sweatshirt. So you know what I'm going to do with that? I'm going to ask my girls. It's got some lint in there. I'm going to ask my girls if 
if uh, we'll probably just Camille if she wants a new sweatshirt. She's got a uh, orangish pink one right there, and then she's got a white one from Gap. Also, very very soft sweatshirt, excellent condition, decent stuff. Do we have another hundred bucks there? Yeah, I think we probably do because of the Ann Taylor. Yeah, I think we do. Jones, New York, twelve ninety nine at TJ Maxx. Nice little scarf. But the key is brand new with tags. Okay, Forever 21. All right, let me go through this again. Pull out the best stuff. All right, we narrowed it down again. I know the pile's getting a little big around here, but there is a method to the madness. So we'll start out right now with this J. Crew brand new with tags. No price on it. Some kind of big jumper. Brand new with tags. That ain't bad. This is some white uh, denim, but it's Ann Taylor. Okay, so that's good. Ann Taylor, my Ann Taylor stack's getting pretty huge. Um, I'm assuming Ann Taylor is all pretty expensive, right? There's another pair of Ann Taylor. This one's slacks, groovy pattern, okay. Ann Taylor. Oh, yeah, right here, look at this, Ann Taylor. And this is brand new with tags. But it's only 25 bucks, but it was 60 bucks, marked down to 25. Okay, so 60 bucks. Decent stuff, right? Not super expensive though. All right, really. Again, this is like not really my department here. Go through ladies' clothes and trying to figure out what the nice stuff is. Next up, we've got this stack right here, brand new with tags. This is Rampage. Okay, some pants, 29 bucks on that. It's just old navy, right? It's a top, or yeah. All right, 30 bucks. Baby clothes, which is kind of funny, right? Ralph Lauren. Okay, brand new with tags, and then this right here. And no price on that. This right here, Bad Bow, is another top, brand new with tags. No price on this either. But we're loving that tag stuff. It's easy to sell it because that's definitely brand new, not worn. All right, one more box to go. It's not closed, guys. Just one more. So let's get to that, and we'll call this one a wrap. Okay. Mm -mm, catch phrases. Great game. Empty box. Couple plush. Oh man, I thought this one might be better. A set of jacks. Connect four. Big Bang Theory. Fact or fiction. Oh, it's a Big Bang Theory clue. I might have to look those up. Um, the Big Bang Theories might be a little bit more valuable. I don't know. But dang, I thought that one might have a little better. I thought that might be a little better box. Maybe I was just happy to see something other than clothes. All right. Well, that's it. All right, Locker Nuts, thanks for watching another great episode, or at least I hope it was great. I know we found great stuff, mostly clothing and shoes, but great brands, great condition. This is some high-end uh, merchandise. These are some people with money, and those lockers definitely are fun. They are fun, but I don't know. Is it too much clothes? Let me know with your comments below if you tell me if this is too much clothes, you want to see more clothes, because I'll tell you what, as soon as I'm done getting this video done, finished and uploaded i'm headed right back to the unit grab more boxes it's mostly clothes and shoes unfortunately it's mostly that i might try to grab some other you know start doing a little cherry picking but i'll tell you what if you come to our monday night auctions and you want some of those clothes and shoes we're gonna have some big lots available for you uh to purchase all right so um like i said i'm gonna head over that unit in just a little bit but before i go i wanted to give a special mention and shout out to Sandy Woods. Sandy Woods is a Bonafide Nuts member of our channel and we really appreciate her support. She's been a longtime member. If you're curious about becoming a member of the channel, it's a way that you could take your support for us a little beyond subscribing, liking, and sharing, which we totally appreciate, right? But if you want to become a member of the channel as well, hit the join button down below. It'll give you all the details. So Sandy Woods, thanks for being a member and especially for being bonafide nuts. All right, we love that. That's a good thing around here. So, all right, you guys. So again, that Monday night auction's coming up. It's going to be really exciting and it's free to watch for everybody. But if you do want to bid, you do have to be a member so uh, again check out that membership if you want to show up and bid we're gonna have some of the purses some of the sunglasses and like I said lots of the clothes and shoes coming up so and there's still a lot more shoes and clothes to sort through so we'll have another video out very very soon okay but until then good luck to you God bless you and we'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts Oh, don't fall. <laughs>